Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, and it is the day, as you know, for chemical stir fry. How do you like this, huh? huh? How am I looking? I think I'm looking old. Hmm. Okay. All right. We got a phone call this morning. One of our movie guys saying, "I need to coat foam. What kind of foam? Polyethylene foam." I got this sinking feeling. So what did I do? I walked around the store and uh, I went down the aisle, went down another aisle, down another aisle, and all of a sudden I remembered this stuff. A moment of brilliance. Yeah, a moment of brilliance, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth Lot has this product called Uracoat. And guess what it's supposed to do? It's supposed to coat foam. And it's flexible. Okay, so I tinkered. I liked what I did. So I liked it so much, I'm gonna tinker for you. Don't take that the wrong way. All right, here we go. So, this material mixes 10 to 1 by weight. So, handy scale. I can see the scale. You can see the scale. But I can see the digital readout, and you cannot. And yes, I did zero out the scale. I already did that. Okay? So I'm going to put one ounce of this here goop in there. You notice how pretty thin that was? Not bad. Now, I'm going to kind of violate a rule here, mostly because I just don't feel like doing it the right way and I want to be in a hurry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some color in, in, these, in this side. Normally I wouldn't do that because as we all know, you're not supposed to tinker in the A, you're supposed to tinker in the B. But in this particular case, it's 10 to 1, and there ain't a heck of a lot of B to tinker in, so I'm going to tinker in the A. Okay? And what I'm going to start off with is I'm just going to throw in some white. Okay? And the reason is I want to make an opaque coating. So that's where I'm going to start. Uh, can you see this? Okay, so we got white. We'll call that good enough. Yeah. Now, due to popular request, we're going to make purple. At least I think we are. And I'm going to make purple. Since I don't have a purple so strong handy, I'm just going to make it with blue and red. So here goes the blue. Whee! Oh, that's just special. Okay. Put a stick away. Now, I'm going to throw in some red. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's. Oh, looky there. Oh, I made the most delightful version of purple. Oh, yes. Kind of a sick and twisted, dead grandmother kind of purple. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a good way to describe it. Zombie purple. Yeah. Aunt Alma, I think this is your eyeshadow. Okay, here we go. So I got that. Now, next thing. Back on the scale. And we zero the scale back out. Because, Lord knows, I did just put in some weight. Not much, but let's compensate anyway. <coughs> All right, 10 to 1. Little teeny hardeners. I'm going to go to all of point one here. There we go. Okay, point one it is. Boom. Stick. It does kind of mess with the color, but not too terrible. See? It's maybe a richer version of Grandma's eyeliner now. Maybe it's Mimi. I don't know. What do you think? Mimi, Grandma, depends on the dress, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Got that. Now, play it safe. Boom. This stuff goes off fairly quick. Uh, we got about eight minutes total, so I really should stop dilly-dallying. All right. In that cup, a little bit of a stir. Now, just happen to have this thing laying around. Foam, see? Okay. I think it's polyethylene foam. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paint this stuff on. Right. There we go. Boink. See what we get. Hey. 
it paints pretty nice. Yeah, that flows okay. Can you see that? You good? Okay, excellent. All right, now, here's why I decided I wanted to do this. Not only did I get that phone call this morning, um, but I'd been looking for a while to be able to offset a competitor's product whose name shall not go mentioned, but I will merely tell you that it is a very cool paint that you use for painting flexible foam, okay? Um, and I hadn't had um, the brainstorm yet that uh, would help me find this stuff until this morning when, again, I was walking around the aisles of the store and it suddenly hit me like the proverbial ton of bricks. Hey, here it is. So that's how this began and where I want you guys to think about how to use this is if you are making a costume, right? And you're making the costume in um, maybe a product kind of like L200. Okay, I'm smearing it on the end. I realize that's going to be rather ineffective, but just the same gives you the idea of how it fills the grain up. Okay? If you need to paint your L200, this may do it. In fact, I feel fairly confident that it's going to do it. Um, and I promise you that we're going to do just that. We're going to tinker with this stuff and learn everything we can possibly learn and share that information any way we can. Okay. Hey, that ain't bad. Look at that. All right. All right. Lovely purple. Hello, grandmother. That's going to take 30 minutes or so before you can put another coat on it, right? The working time of this material at regular room temperature is about eight minutes, and that's from the time you start mixing to the time you better have it out of the cup. Um, this, the suggestion was made by our friends at Smooth On that if you want to extend that, the way you extend it is that you pour it into a pan or you pour it into a thin film. That way you reduce the mass of the material so it's not sitting there cooking. Um, that internal cooking that we know so well. So, okay, that makes some sense. The other way you can do it is just make a whole lot of batches. Um, I do think, however, that you know, for the amount of material that I just mixed up, which was approximately 1.1 ounces, that's not too terrible. And I would suffice to say that I threw away at least half of what I started with just because I was in a hurry. So, what's it look like? I ran a couple of tests this morning, okay? I did it on El Cheapo stuff. It's a little sticky still, but okay. I, you don't have to know that. Only I have to know that. Um, this was the first one. Um, all I did here was throw in some red pigment stuff that I found, which wasn't even so strong. It was just some dry pigment. You see how it's got dots in it? Didn't go in so good, okay? But look at this, okay? This is one of those mailing envelope things. Here, I'll use the other hand. That's pretty cool, all right? Flexible coating on really, really thin um, packaging foam, all right? Second one, same basic deal, only this time I read the instructions. Yes, I know, what a shock, but I did. I read the instructions and learned at that point that I was supposed to use So Strong or Ignite Colors. So this is Ignite Yellow. Now. You see how it turned kind of a little on the brown side? Well, the catalyst is brown, okay? And it's a little bit tough to fight that off. So what I'm gonna say is that if you are looking for a translucent color, you're probably gonna have to tinker, and you're probably gonna end up having a bit of a problem getting a good color in a translucent yellow, okay? Brown just messes with yellow. Now, on the flip side, though, if you don't mind having more of an opaque color, and yes, I know I painted this on black, just the same, you can, you can beat that by starting with a white. That's why I did that. So the white helps reduce the effect of the brown, okay, at least makes it less apparent, and then from there you can make a color whatever you want, and off you go. So I feel pretty good about this. I really, really do. 
And uh, I'm really, really happy that Dave called me this morning and said, hey, the, the dudes over there in the stunt department need to coat some foam, and I don't know what to do. So I figured it out, I think. I feel pretty good. I'm done. So, okay. You're a coat. Comes in little kits like this. Mixes 10 to 1. You can also get bigger kits. You can buy a tank car if you want. I'll be more than happy to sell it to you, okay? Um, it doesn't smell bad. Um, you can smell it, but it doesn't smell bad. Um, and it worked with the existing colors. We didn't have to do anything different. I did trim the brush. Um, I did break off the sticks like I always do, but I didn't have to hold my pinky in any certain way to make it cure. It looks fine to me. So I'm gonna call this one a winner. So there you go, you're a coach. I'm done, thank you, have a great day. We'll see you next week, bye-bye.